Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share a review of the new Ampero control. That is a fully programmable Bluetooth MIDI controller that provides us with MIDI based control via MIDI port, USB jack and Bluetooth. Can it be like the Swiss Army knife to solve all your control needs? Let's find out. Let's first of all describe the unit. It is a fully programmable Bluetooth MIDI controller that provides us with MIDI based control via MIDI port, USB jack and Bluetooth. In fact, looking at the back of the unit, we have a USB port, the regular MIDI connections and it is also possible to connect the unit to a PC or tablet via Bluetooth. Furthermore, it offers two control and expression TRS jacks for uh, connecting external full switches and expression pedals in order to add even more controllers other than the four foot switches already included. It can send 16 MIDI messages by one foot switch. It offers 100 banks where each bank includes four foot switches settings two control expression jack settings and more. It has a dedicated mobile app that lets us set up the controller on the fly. It runs at 9V, 18V or 5V USB bus power supply, requiring 100mA, so it can be adapted to pretty much all pedal boards. It is pretty small and it weight just 440 grams. The price is around 120 euro or dollars. This was a summary of the technical characteristics of the Ampero control. Let's now talk about some real use cases. Now, the most interesting use case scenarios, in my opinion, are the first one to expand the foot switches of an amp modeling pedal board that has no MIDI connections but that can manage MIDI signals via USB, like for instance the Ampero One or the new XMG30 or the PodGo. The second one is to control an amp modeling app for a tablet connected to the Ampero controller via Bluetooth like for instance the Ampero Vustomp mobile app. The third one is to control your digital audio workstation connecting the Ampero controller to your computer via USB. And the last one is to control any MIDI device via wired MIDI, like for instance an amp modeling pedal board like the regular Ampero or an external effect like a Strymo reverb or delay. Now, in this video I would go through the first use case, which is the most complex one in my opinion and also the most interesting. Here I don't have with me the Ampero one, therefore let's try to connect the Ampero control to the new XMG30. First of all, as far as I understood, the Ampero control cannot be connected directly uh, to the receiving device via MIDI. But in order to connect it to a device via USB, we need a USB host. Therefore, in this test, we are gonna use an iPad mini, which is connected to the MG30 via USB using a camera connection kit. Actually, this one. If you notice, this is a specific camera kit because it also has the possibility to power on the iPad while the iPad is also connected to the amp modeling pedal board of your choice. Pretty cool accessory. Then we need an host app in the iPad which can route the Bluetooth signal received from the Ampero to the MG30. In my case I have chosen the MIDI MITTR app which is also free. First of all, we need to set up the MIDI signal that should be sent from the Ampero control to the new XMG30. I mean, we need to create a mapping of the MIDI change program and CC signal that the Ampero control has to send to the MG30. In order to do it, we can use the Ampero control app. Now, as you may notice, it is searching 
the Ampero control, we have to switch together the foot switch number two and three. Device found, connect, it is connecting. And now we have the app working with the Ampero control. Here we can create different, how to say, templates. I have already done my template, Leo NG30 program change, where you can map each foot switch to the function you want to do. So for instance, here I have the four foot switches. I have associated each foot switch to a preset in the MG30. How to do it? Once you have selected the foot switch, you should add a mapping and then you have to set the mapping as follows. The channel is the second one, the type is program change, data one set to zero and the output are USB and Bluetooth. Actually, we would need only Bluetooth. So here I have noticed that the first preset data should be set to zero for the second preset data should be set to one and so on and so forth. As you may notice here, basically we have the same setting but data set to one. And in the third foot switch, same setting but data set to two. So you have basically the four foot switches that are mapped and each foot switch has its own MIDI mapping. Now the mapping has been done, we should save them and they are flashed to the Ampero control. Once this procedure has been done, mapping the MIDI signal and the control you want to do, you have to switch on the MIDI MITTR app and here you can notice that it has recognized the Ampero control uh, Bluetooth, so the Ampero control is connected to the app via Bluetooth and I have assigned the MG30 as the destination of the MIDI signal. You just have to do these things and it's done. And now let's check out if it works. First preset, second preset and voila, third preset, etc. So it works. Obviously each pedal board has his own MIDI mappings and you have to find out the right one for you. This setting should work also in order to switch on and off single effects and the MIDI CC signal can be found in the quick tone app of the MG30 here. So basically we have the iPad connected to the MG30 via the USB camera kit, the Ampero control connected to the iPad via Bluetooth, and then we have an app in the iPad that uh, takes the ownership of the communication between the two devices. So you send Bluetooth signal to the iPad and then the app translates this signal into USB MIDI messages that are sent to the MG30. As far as I understood, you cannot connect directly the Ampero control to the new XMG30. I've tried and it doesn't work even after the mapping was done because actually you need a software, you need an host that requires a chip or a software running and the Ampero control does not carry this software inside it. Final consideration CR and please notice that Oton has sent me this unit for free in order to review it but I'm not paid to make this video and Oton didn't ask me anything so I'm free to say whatever I want. Now a unit like this could be pretty useful. I think that the use case scenarios we have discussed previously in the video are pretty common and this unit could solve problems we have talked about in the past where the biggest one is, in my opinion, the possibility to expand the foot switches of a small amp modeling pedal board that has no MIDI connections and with just three foot switches. There are many of them that can hardly be used in live situation and that can receive new life thanks to the expanded foot switches and controls of units like the Ampero control. For instance, the MG30 or the Ampero 1, etc. 
And obviously also the possibility to control an amp modeling app in your tablet is really cool and useful, connecting the Ampero control via Bluetooth to the tablet itself. It would be nice to have a rechargeable battery inside the Ampero control, but we have also to say that there are many ways uh, by which you can power up this unit. For instance, uh, the regular 9V or 18V or via USB. So, in theory, if you have a USB bank, you can power up this unit. So these were my final considerations. Please let me know in the comment below what's your opinion about this unit and the use case scenarios you are most interested in. We have now reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up. It would be a great help. If you're interested in my IRs or in my camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye!